Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be an overview of my Christmas wax collection. So I'm going to share with you guys all of the candles and wax melts from different brands um, that I have that are basically all holiday scents. I figured we'd sit down in front of the Christmas tree and just go through all the candles that I've collected um, throughout the past couple of months for December. Now that we're past candle day, I figured I'd do this candle collection video for you guys. And then after body care day, I'll do my body care collection, my Christmas body care collection too. So anyways, I'm excited to show you guys all the candles that I have. You can see behind me, there's quite a few um, and we are in full Christmas mode now. So if you are excited to see what I have in my collection, then just keep watching. Okay, so here is a quick overview um, I've got all of my wax down below, and then I kind of separated it by um, brand. So I'm going to start on the far left, and I do have this beautiful gingerbread holder. I thought I'd show you guys all of my candle holders as well while we're, you know, while we're at it. So I'll start off with this gingerbread candle holder that I actually just picked up on Candle Day. It's the cutest thing. It's gingerbread people of all colors. So adorable. And this is $24.95. I got it for 50% off, so it was like $12.50. Such a cute item. And I've had this upstairs in my bedroom with the Give Hope Peppermint Marshmallow Candle. This one is one of my favorites. The notes are crushed peppermint, fluffy marshmallows, and powdered sugar. Just a very simple, no-nonsense, um, sweet marshmallow with a slight bit of peppermint. It is so sweet and yummy and I love it. It does smell just like um, like you're making homemade marshmallows. So if you've ever been in like a confectionery, that's really what it smells like. And it is pretty low, like it's not a very strong thrower, but that's why I leave it in my bedroom because it really won't perform anywhere else. <laughs> and then I have these four from Goose Creek that I just did an order for. So I have gingerbread and milkshake and I'll try to put the notes down below from the website. But this one I have been burning because I'm preparing to do a review, which actually should be up the next day after this video goes up. But this one really, I don't get too much gingerbread. It's a very like milky warm vanilla scent to me so this one is really good though it's definitely not super strong but still really good and i'm not going to move this one because i actually was just burning it but this is chocolate drizzled popcorn i burned it for the first time today so i don't have like a full review for you guys but let me know if you want a review on it um it was very chocolatey it almost smelled like hot cocoa and cream um but near the end it started to get that like weird cloying um caramel scent that you get after you've burned something for like too long that's what it started to smell like, which it could be like kettle corn. So I don't know. That one is interesting. I'm really happy that I got it though, because it's, it's a very cool, unique candle. And then I have gingerbread donut also from them. I have not burned this one yet. Um, it just smells like a spicy donut, but I love donut scents. And I could see myself even saving this for like next fall. And I would still be happy with that. And then I have hot cocoa and peppermint from them. Um, also have not burned this one. But a wonderful just peppermint <laughs> and cocoa scent. I feel like it's not the same as the one from Bath and Body Works. It is slightly different. It is more this like candy cane and cocoa mm -hmm. than peppermint. Like um, peppermint hot chocolate you get from Starbucks. Definitely a little bit different. So that's all from Goose Creek. And then I've got my Bath and Body Works set up like kind of weird. But this was like the only thing that would work. I was too scared to stack too many candles. So I have Fireside right here from this year in this beautiful glass lid packaging. I just picked this up at Candle Day so I haven't had a chance to burn it. But the notes are smoked cedar, fresh clove bud, and warm embers. This is really like it smells just like a fire, like kind of crazy. It's a little masculine. I think this will be really nice, especially when it's actually cold in Texas, which is like usually January or February. So that's fireside. And then I have peppermint sugar cookie, which I've been loving. I've been burning this one and crushed candy cane together downstairs along with candy cane martini as like a trio of just awesome peppermint scents. And it is the best combination ever. So peppermint sugar cookie is crushed peppermint, vanilla extract, creamy butter, and soft sugar cookies. If you've never tried this one, I highly recommend trying it, picking it up, 
it's wonderful. It's so yummy, so soft and gentle and sweet, but still like really strong. So I love peppermint sugar cookie. And while I was talking about crushed candy cane, I've been liking it a lot. I haven't burnt it by itself yet to be able to tell like how strong it is. This is my first year actually owning it. It's this beautiful pink wax. Wonderful, wonderful scent. Definitely does smell like candy canes versus like twisted peppermint. Smells like vanilla peppermint. The notes are crunchy peppermint, white sugar crystals, and frosted mint leaf. And it has this beautiful holographic snowman packaging. So cute. So that one I am really enjoying. And then I have hot cocoa and cream in this gorgeous candy cane candle holder. And this one I got with a free reward. This was $14.95. So I redeemed a reward for this one and it was absolutely free and I love it. It's so beautiful. So this is hot cocoa and cream actually from last year. I picked this up I think it's Summer SAS. It was on a really good deal. It's like six or eight dollars, I think. And I adore this scent. I get it every single year. It is decadent milk chocolate, fresh steamed milk, and mini marshmallows. Just a wonderful Swiss Miss cocoa scent. It is so nice if you're having like a cuddly movie night and you're just like sitting by the TV and you're snuggled under blankets and you're drinking hot cocoa. This is like the perfect vibe setter for that type of night. So I love this scent. And then we have the Perfect Christmas. This one is also a favorite of mine. I think it came out for the first time last year, but this is this year's packaging. The notes are fresh cut pine, cinnamon sugar, and toasted marshmallows. Just a wonderful Christmas scent. I honestly don't like like fresh balsam. I don't like tree scents, to be honest with you. But this one has some vanilla in it. And it really makes it worth it and creamy. And just so wonderful. I need to bring this one out like soon because this one really gets me in the Christmas mood. So that is the perfect Christmas. And then peppermint hot chocolate from last year. I really loved this packaging. I thought it was gorgeous. The notes are cool peppermint, silky milk chocolate, and sweet cream. This one is very similar to hot cocoa and cream, but with the same peppermint as peppermint sugar cookie, if that makes any sense. Just a wonderful scent. I already did burn through one of these last year and I picked up a backup because I loved it so much, but it is a wonderful, wonderful peppermint scent. It also is like that cozy hot cocoa vibe and I just adore peppermint scents this time of year. Next, I have cinnamon sugared pecans. I picked this one up a few weeks ago, I think um, still in November, but the notes on this one are warm cinnamon, toasted pecans, and brown sugar. I have not yet burnt it. I feel like this is a good year round scent, even like a fall scent. Um, it's just like roasted nuts, but it smells really, really yummy. It really does smell like sugar coated or like honey roasted nuts, that's what it smells like. I actually just had some today for a snack, so that's pretty funny. But yeah, it smells really good. I hope it's a great thrower, but that's one that I do have, and that's it for the Bath & Body Works candles. So next, I have only one Homeworks winter candle. Honestly, I just didn't feel like buying any of the Homeworks candles. I might buy them like once they clearance them out for um, spring, but I don't like any of the like fresh earthy scents that they have. I don't like any balsam scents. So there was really only a few bakery ones. There was like sugared snickerd, not sugared snickerdoodle, some sort of snickerdoodle cookie and like one other thing. And I didn't really want either of them. So I just didn't really buy any Homeworks candles this year. This one I picked up at uh, Home Goods and it was $17.99. The notes on candy cane martini are sweet peppermint, frozen vanilla and candy cane swirl. Oh, and vanilla orchid. This one has been such a wonderful scent. Oh my goodness, it is so delicious. I really, really like this one. I've been burning it, like I said, with um, sh crushed candy cane and peppermint sugar cookie. Just a beautiful peppermint scent. I think this is wonderful. I would definitely buy it again. And I'm actually going through it really, really fast. So I'm already like down to here and I'm kind of sad, but that's candy cane martini and that's it for homeworks. And then I have one DW Homes candle in this really cute little Bath & Body Works stand from last year. And then I put this little um, wreath around the bottom of the stand. This is from um, World Market. And I believe it was like $10. Super, super cute. So this is DW Homes Christmas morning. And I, I'm kind of disappointed in this scent, honestly. I need to try it upstairs in my bedroom. But I love coffee scents. And that's what this is. It's a very simple coffee and milk, super simple scent. And it smells great on cold, but it does not perform very well. It is like a two out of 10 on throw. It is so weak. It's really sad. And I like to have a coffee candle going while I'm working 
I work from home, by the way, um, downstairs in my dining room and it's an open concept. So I need something strong. Like I need something at least a six or more. And this just doesn't do that. I did have it like three or four years ago in a giant four wick. It was like this kind of packaging. It was super low and it had a bunch of wicks and it was a wonderful thrower. But this one is just really disappointing and I'm kind of sad and kind of regretting buying it. It was $9.99, but yeah, I don't think I will get this packaging of DW Homes again. I keep trying them and they keep failing me. So yeah, that's DW Homes and that's all the candles. So let's get into wax. Okay, I have Country Candles Cheers, which is actually a New Year's kind of scent. But I wanted to show you guys anyways because it is like wintry. Um, I haven't purchased from them since last winter. I don't really like their wax. So this is the last bar that I own from them and I won't be buying it again. I don't know. I just really didn't like it. It was very powdery. So, and then the rest of this is all scentsy. So I have Perfect Peppermint, which I am absolutely adoring right now. It is one of my favorite scents. Pretty in plaid with this like gorgeous green wax. This is a nice scent. It's very um, like frosted fur. So it's definitely like fur needles. So I have to get used to that because like I said, I don't really love those kinds of scents, but it is really nice. It's like a fruity um, fur needle. And then we have Snow Kiss Cranberry, just a wonderful berry scent. So this one, I will have no problem burning. Christmas Cuddles, this one's like a bakery berry scent. Um, still wonderful. I'll have no problem burning that one. St. Nickerdoodle is like an orange um, snickerdoodle cookie. Really, really wonderful. I've been liking this one. It's not very strong, but it's still really yummy. Wassail Wonderland, which is like the orange pomander kind of scent. Oh my God, I've been loving this. I really like this. I didn't realize that orange could be a Christmas scent until I smelled this because this really does evoke Christmas for me. And oh my gosh, it's so wonderful. I'll have to pick up a few of these at a later time too. And then Spiced Apple Chestnut, another just like apple spice scent. I'm going to save this probably for next fall because I can't see myself burning it or melting it right now because I have so much more to get through. But I feel like this would be a really good fall scent because it's really just like apple cider. I'm Snow Over It. This one I really, really like in the bath, not the bathroom, the bedroom. It's a nice like calming, relaxing scent. So that one's really good. Frosted vanilla. Oh my god, I need to pick up like 10 of these. It's so good. It smells like marshmallow fireside. Oh my god, it smells so great. And it lasted in my bedroom for like a solid week. So I love frosted vanilla. And then Slay All Day. It's kind of an earthy, outdoorsy kind of scent. So not my favorite, but we'll get there. And then Holly Berry Cinnamon is like a greenery cinnamon scent. So also not really my favorite, but I'll definitely get through this one. Okay, so that is everything for my candle collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of like more chill laid back style rather than like the phone on the tripod and like setting everything up. I don't know. Let me know if you like that. It's a little easier with daily uploads to do something like this than a full production, but I will be working on some shower routines and bath routines for you guys coming up probably next week. Um, that just takes so much time to film and record. So bear with me on that. But for now, it's going to be a little bit of reviews going up and some stuff for body care day before that happens. I'm so excited. I need to make my um, wish list. But anyways, that's everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.